Songs of the Surrounded, a special series about the choir Echoes of Life, the beautiful choir of the legendary church La Sinagoga in Harlem, New York. Carmen Ortiz, who is the director of the choir, wrote, Music has been defined as an art carefully combining sound and tempo by duration, punctuation, and intensity. Through music, we, we can express the most intimate sentiments of the spirit, sadness, happiness, and victory. As I think about music, I can forge in my mind a retrospective frame of the years of my youth, when I was with great love, dedication, and enthusiasm, would sing in a choir at the Second Unity Elementary School in St. Just, Puerto Rico. Afterwards, while I studied in Wadley High School in Manhattan, I devoted myself with great fervor and zest to the choral music and also to the study of the clarinet. During this time, I was allowed what has always been a great privilege for me, become a member of the choir, Echos de Vida, of the church, La Sinagoga. I also played my clarinet in the church band. During that time, the choir and the band was almost totally comprised of young people that expressed their fidelity and love of God in various forms. They were involved in the choir or in the band. There is no other experience in the universe that can uplift man's spirit closer to its creator, such as prayer and sacred music. Both touch the most intimate part of the soul and transports on wings of faith straight to the very presence of God himself. Thanks to the Lord for the gift of music. Thanks to the Lord for sacred hymns of yesteryear. They have left us with a musical legacy that enriches our praise to the Lord in our worship services. Thanks to the Lord also for today's hymnologists that have surrendered to the will of the Holy Spirit and with humility and a sincere desire to exalt the name of the Lord, reveal their heaven-sent talents through their musical creations. And what can we say of the music from the Holy Scriptures? Shall we take for granted the ministries and the musical experiences of the Old and the New Testaments? Who can help from being emotional when we visualize David with his melodious harp bringing healing to King Saul's tormented spirit and causing the malignant spirit to flee? And who does not feel that their strength is renewed as the wings of eagles when we sing unto the Lord a new song? Songs of the Surrounded, an introduction by Joaquin Maldonado. When we reflect on the choir, Ecos de Vida, we not only think about the choir. The history of the choir is interwoven with the history and trajectory of the church, La Sinagoga. The mention of some of the high points of this beloved choir brings us to memory many events of La Sinagoga. Some events make us laugh and rejoice, and some make us recall with pity and sadness. But the victory of the choir and the church, La Sinagoga, is not that they were always joyful. The victory is being able to pass through all of the times, be they positive or negative, being taken from the hand of the Lord and in the midst of it all, lifting unto the Lord a new song. This has been the secret of the longevity of the choir, Ecos de Vida. They will continue victorious as long as they have this ideal. The directors and the participants of the choir, Ecos de Vida. The masterful work of our brother, Noel Serrano, in this occasion, relates with clarity of memory and agility of perception those moments that many of us have gone through in the triumphant history of La Sinagoga and its outstanding choir. Thank you, Noel, because you cause us to remember and renew our wishes until Jesus comes again. Amen. Joaquin Maldonado T.
Teaneck, New Jersey.